Hello, my name is Erkin Yücel and I am an R&D engineer at Global Dynamics System. And today I would like to demonstrate some operations using SARS. Uh, what we have here is the distributed version of SARS, which means I have three different panels that are designed for the first one for the bridge and operations of it. And the second screen is designed for engine control room, ECR. And the third screen demonstrates the operations that can be done in engine room down there. For example, seawater system, freshwater cooling system, my boiler, and main engine fuel system, and etc. I would like to do some operations using SARS and I started the, the software in uh, maneuvering mode which means right now I have two diesel generators feeding electrical bus bar. As you can see here, number one and number two diesel generators. And what I'm going to do is I would like to start diesel generator number two, number three. and do some operations with high voltage and bow thruster system. Before that, I would like to check my freshwater cooling and seawater cooling system. As you can see right now, I have only one uh, number one freshwater cooler uh, in operation, and I will start number two as well. Before that, I will line up the seawater system for cooler number two. As you can see it's off right now and I am feeding the seawater system with pump number one and I will start pump number two before. So as you can see here the pump control panel shows that the pump control is in local position and I would like to start this pump in remote uh, where the engine control room is. So I will switch the control to remote and come upstairs in the engine control room, which is here in this, in this configuration, and select the pumps and compressors screen. This is what I see in engine control room. I found the seawater main cooling panel, and I found seawater pump, and I press start in manual position. As you can see here, seawater pump number two is started and feeding the seawater system. Now I can open the valves, inlet and outlet valves of my cooler number two. This is the outlet valve and this is the inlet valve. I'm checking the flow rates of seawater system. And look, it looks good in operation. I will switch back to freshwater cooling system. Now I am feeding freshwater cooler number two with seawater and I am going to open the valves of the freshwater side. This is here is the outlet valve and the inlet valve. temperature of LT fresh water is dropping down which is which is a sign of the cooler number two is doing its job. Now I will start my diesel generator number three and feed bus, bus bar with it. Here what I have here is diesel generator panels one two three and I pressing the number 3 screen. I'm checking the systems and I, and I confirm that the fresh seawater system is in operation, fresh water system is lined up and the lubricating oil system is lined up. I will start my loop oil priming pump in manual, manual operation mode. I'm observing the lube oil pressure on the gauge. 
I have 8.6 bar for fuel pressure and I have enough pressure for start air, the fuel linkage is in run position and I see the red to start light red and I will start this diesel generator in local, local mode and I will switch the control mode to local and everything looks good in operation and I will start the engine. I see that the engine speed is rising and it's supposed to be around 720 RPMs. Meanwhile, I will set up my power generator CP where I can synchronize the third diesel generator and feed the bus bar with it. All the parameters of, of diesel generator 3 is looking good and I will switch the control mode to remote so I can synchronize the diesel generator 3, the, the one in the engine room, synchronize it on engine control room upstairs. In my synchroscope screen, I will switch to diesel generator 3 and I can see that diesel generator is running a little bit fast and the frequency shows that 60.6, 60 60.5 and I will wait a little bit for, for it to find 60 hertz it's around, it's around good and I will connect my diesel generator number 3 to the bus bar My generator operation mode is in equal load, so all three generators are supposed to share the load equally that I have, that I can observe on the panel on the left side of the screen. And everything looks good, looks good, and I, I am ready to, to start bow thruster system. For that, I first have to set the circuit breaker on for high voltage systems. This is my main circuit breaker uh, screen and right here on the corner there is this breaker that is that activates the high voltage circuit breaker system. I'm returning back to the engine room. This is my high voltage transformer. I feed the transformer with 440 volts and as an output I have 6600 volts that is designed for running up the bio thruster. For that, I will engage vacuum circuit breaker first, as you can see on this screen. And I will start dragging in my vacuum circuit breaker. All the contactors are in operation now, and I will charge my spring now. And the indicator says it's okay. And I'm ready to, to put the vacuum circuit breaker in operation. Okay, right now I have the uh, valve thruster electrical system ready. And now for for the rest of bow thruster operation, I will switch to bridge screen, which is right here. On this screen, I will start my hydraulic oil system for, for, the, for the motor. I'm running the pump first. And the control power is on and I am ready to start the electric motor. You can see valve thruster parameters here. Okay, I'm good to go. There is this pitch controller uh, screen here in this panel and I can 
I can start my operation with startable. As you can see, as I operate bow thruster, the ship's course is changing, which is the indication of the bow thruster is doing its job. I will operate bow thruster one more time in follow-up mode, which means it will maintain the pitch angle where I left it. You can see my ship is spinning around with an effect of bow thruster. I'd like to show one more operation with with using using the engine control room systems such as main engine control. What I have here is the telegraph R that that allows me to communicate between bridge and engine control room. Now, right now uh, the engine control responsibility is in ECR. I will transfer it to bridge. And in bridge. I confirm the responsibility. Right now I have I have the control responsibility of main engine on bridge on this telegraph R. As you can see, my engine is running in full ahead mode, and I can change it with my telegraph R. And now I will change the main engine speed from bridge and confirm the bridge order in engine control room. I'm changing main engine RPM to navigation full mode. As you can see, the the light is lit in engine control room. Right now, I have the control of engine lever, the one in, in ECR, on this panel. And I will confirm the bridge order here. That's all that I'm going to show today for you and I'm looking forward to telling you about Ceres more in the future. Thank you.